we'll let that sit there for a little bit. What is up guys, welcome to another video. Kind of a weird intro, but how to get some blood worms. And right now we are going to get fish food for the pond. I'm gonna feed them a lot because I forgot to feed them yesterday, but that's okay. To help them go along, I'm gonna just shake them up a little bit. As you can see, they're already defrosting. In a little bit, I'll dump them in. But for now, let's put in some of that fish food. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, you guys can't really see that that well, but oh my gosh, they are going to start munching. But they're kind of scared right now for me standing here, so there they are, but they'll eat them soon. And if you're wondering, yes, Deborah will also eat the blood worms, but I'm freezing, so let's go inside. And guys, the reason I'm filming outside today is because my brother has a migraine, like a really bad migraine. So I'm filming outside just so I can be quiet, but still be loud. So once they eat that food out there in about 15 minutes, I'm gonna go out there and do a water change. And I'm gonna eat some dry cereal while I wait. Got the pipe on and let's do a water change on the pond. As you can see, the fish are more adjusted now. That I'm gone and they're down there. You can't really see them that well. You can kind of see Deborah right there. But uh, we're going to set this up right now. Oh, putting it to drain. It's on drain now. I'll take this. Go drop it right down into the pond and grab this and basically just create a barrier so no fish can get through. There we go, guys. Now, we just turn the nozzle. And it is draining the pond. Woo, there we go. Come over here, you can see it is actually, in fact, draining the pond. All the fish are right down there. And yeah, guys, this pond is looking absolutely amazing, by the way. It doesn't really need a big water change. All right, guys, so it is drained like about an inch all around. So pretty much we're just gonna come over here and flip the nozzle. Boom, now it's actually pushing the water into the pond and this is why i take the prime prime and i uh, fill up a cap and this treats 50 gallons and i did not take near 50 gallons out so that's okay perfect amount of prime so the pond is filled up to where i want it to be so i go over here and i uh, Turn off the water. It's hard to do, one-handed. But I did it, and now let's loosen this. Whew. And I'm gonna take this out, and we're actually gonna start draining the tube to the python, the actual python. And yeah, guys, there. Put that. I just put that up there in my prime. I put it back inside. And yeah, guys, that is how I do a water change on the pond. It's actually the easiest thing I have to do a water change on because I literally flip a couple nozzles as a prime and you're done. Clean up the tube, you're literally done. That's the easiest tank, aquarium, pond thing that I have to do a water change on. So yeah, let's get to the update on all my animals. What is up, guys? Remember, remember this my brain, so I'm not going to feel very loudly. But let's do an update on my animals. Over here, we got the Oscar bump. He was literally getting so big. There's my hand. There's my hand. Like the camera does not do it justice. He's getting massive by the day. So let's actually pop some food in there for food. Literally, we'll eat all that up. Oh yeah, thumpy thump. And there's thump. 
And there is my show beta. Axel and the beautiful scape. Look at that. You got a nice retention wall with rocks and plants and just a sand foreground. Perfect little setup for a beta. Over here is my brother's beta. And a similar setup with like the retention bases, but no plants, not a light on it. There's a filter and there's a pretty beautiful beta. I can't really tell, but there's a ton of fish back there. They just don't like to come out. But it's pretty much the star of this tank is Thump. The massive Oscar. And guys, if you think that is massive, I keep saying massive, that is so tiny compared to how big he's gonna get. This fish is gonna get from here to here, at least that whole length. And he's not gonna be able to live in this whole tank his whole life, obviously. But oh, and there's the other Cory. Back there. Pretty big compared to that one. Super fat Cory, actually. Over here is Reese. <laughs> Gecko release, so beautiful. Yeah, he really doesn't like to be held that much, which I hold I hold him every day, so. He should get used to me eventually, but right now he ain't too big of a fan. Maybe he's just a little violet, but he definitely is getting bigger, and that is a good sign. So yeah, that is that is Reese the Leopard Gecko, and that is the end of the video, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.